And welcome back to another edition of On Assignment. This is Dave Erickson here at the 2013 Ironman 70.3 California in beautiful Oceanside, where on Saturday, March 30th, more than 2,500 athletes representing more than 30 countries will take on this 70.3 mile course. Here's a quick preview of the swim, bike, and run course. The swim starts and finishes at the boat ramp in the southwest quadrant of Oceanside Harbor and goes in a counterclockwise direction. The course is one loop and begins by paralleling the west side dock, angles left toward the mouth of the harbor, and turns around where it meets the boat basin entrance. The course follows the same layout as it returns. Now, Transition 1 is located in the parking lot that starts at the boat ramp and goes north. Cutoff time is one hour and 10 minutes after the final wave begins. Pacing's really important on the first leg of it before you get to the harbor mouth at the turnaround. Um, if there's gonna be any kind of rough sea or anything like that, you're gonna find it there at the, at the harbor mouth. And then uh, the, when you make the last turn to head for home, that's when you can really unload it and get going. Due to the heightened security in and around Camp Pendleton Base in Oceanside, there is no pre-riding of the course at all. Also on race day, no spectators will be allowed on base, only athletes and race support vehicles. Also take note, there will be a no passing, no speeding zone on the first long descent on Barcelona Road, which is approximately 39 to 40 miles into the bike course. The speed limit on this dangerous descent will be 25 miles per hour. Any rider seen passing or deemed to be riding too fast or out of control will be disqualified, no exceptions. This descent will be well marked with blinking lights and signs. Volunteers will also be out there shouting verbal reminders. Take it easy going through campgrounds. Everybody likes the fire wallet going up through San Clemente and everything, but you got to remember the main climbing starts once you get over San Mateo, the big climb. The rollers on the backside leading up to the fire station before you start heading back down to Vandergriff, those are the ones that can really test you because if there's going to be a headwind, it's going to be there blowing from the south. The two-loop, 13.1-mile run course begins at Transition 2 above the Oceanside Pier, down onto the pier, on the Strand, and through coastal neighborhoods before a spectacular finish in front of thousands of spectators. The little surprise comes at the far at the turnaround because now you backtrack up across next to the railroad tracks, then you turn around and come back down again. So that adds a little wrinkle to it. Other than that, there isn't really anything that's that much different with the exception of the run up the ramp to the top of the pier and the steep hill when you approach for your uh, first lap turnaround. How many times have you done this race? This will be my sixth time in a row since 2008. And remember, you can check out all the action live on race day Saturday by going to Ironman.com. Until next time, this is Dave Erickson at the 2013 Ironman 70.3 California.